fellas 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 what is going on today fellas so today's video i'm gonna be giving you some snipe filters for the new idol series one packs so why did i say packs like that anyways so they just came out with this guys and so i'm recording this video for you this is the first ever idols and this is basically the same thing that prime was last year and yeah i guess you're gonna have to lock in five players in order to get you know a certain player a mystery player and that's how it's gonna work so as you can see here we got pink diamond mono ginobili diamond alonzo morning diamond paul george amethyst lewis scola and porzingis and then we got ruby patrick mills so yeah i'm gonna be giving you obviously a pink diamond filter i'm gonna be giving you a diamond filter as well an amethyst filter and maybe even a ruby filter so stick around and uh yeah just stay tuned for those so let's get into it man so first off obviously for the pink diamond filter it would just be mono ginobili I mean, you could just search him by his name or you can just go Pink Diamond because he's the only Pink Diamond that's available on the auction house. So either just Mono Ginobili or Pink Diamond. I think Pink Diamond would just be easier because you don't have to type anything in the, in the name search. And then um, minimum buyout 500 because I don't anticipate this card being a buy now considering he is the first ever idol card and he, he is the first ever Pink Diamond to be on the auctions. So he's probably going to stay over 100k and... In that event that he is, just obviously go pink diamond minimum bio 500, sit on this filter for as long as you can, and eventually snipe him on a Ginobili, and you should be good to go, man. And good luck to you guys. I don't know how many are going to be getting thrown up or not, but I, I guess we'll see if you guys tell me in the comments what you guys get. Next up, a diamond filter. So obviously, you'd want to use, if you want to snipe those two, Alonzo Morning and Paul George, you want to snipe those two in the same filter. All you have to do is go theme, well, first off, diamond, and then theme, you have to go idle series one vip and then that leaves you with paul george and alonzo morning now let me see if any of these guys are already going for buy now okay seems alonzo morning is he's probably going to be cheaper in price i don't know so much about paul george man he might not be a buy now and if he does happen to be a buy now then all you would have to do is to adjust this filter depending on what the cheapest alonzo morning is because it seems paul george is going to be more expensive either way whether he's a buy now or not but let's find the cheapest Alonzo Morning, and then we're going to set up a filter based upon what that price is. So let's see. And then um, we're gonna, I'm going to tell you how, how, how would you snipe Paul George too if you can't use this filter to snipe him. Well, technically, you could use this filter to snipe him, but if you wanted to snipe Paul George. All right, so he seems to be going for 78K. That one's probably glitched, actually. Let me bump that up because that was the only one. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. He seems to be going for 78K. And yeah, so basically, if you wanted to snipe Alonzo Morning and Paul George on the same filter, this would be the way to do it. Let me take, oh, you could just take off the minimum buyout. I mean, you could have it there. It's not going to make a difference. But you'd want to lower this max buyout. I would say, let me see, to 65. Because if I buy one for 65 and I sell it for 78 or like, let's just say 77, he probably is going to go down, guys. So you'd have to adjust the filter depending on what the price is. But for this current moment, which is like 20 minutes after the packs came out, this is the way I do it, but I wouldn't really use this filter until a little bit after when the packs are like a little bit more settled and the prices have dropped a little bit more. But this I'm just showing you exactly how to set it up so you guys know for like a few hours later or a day later or whatever, you know, however, however, man, I can't talk however much time passes. OK, but yeah, so I would set it up like this 65,000. If I bought it for 65,000 and I sold it for 77, they're going to take off 7,700. So uh, I would still make. A little bit of profit on the snipe now obviously like i said you you would just want to adjust the price depending on what the price is of alonzo morning because he is going to be the cheaper of the two and obviously you can see paul george on his filter if you happen to get lucky enough to see one for under the price now if you wanted to just snipe paul george now you can do that too if he happened to not be a buy now then all you really would have to do is just put diamond and paul george and snipe him by his name because i don't i can't really think of a filter at the moment that would include him and other is, is Larry Bird. Wait, hold on, let, let me take a look at Paul George. Let me see. If he's a small forward, then you might be able to snipe him with Larry. Small forward, power forward. I think Larry Bird might be that too. Let's just double check, and then we, that might be a filter for you to use. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be that that's a filter you can use. You can go diamond, and then you can go small forward. Position small forward, and obviously that would just be. Oh, and Lamar Odom is on here too. So that's an even another player, but I don't know if you'd want to snipe Lamar Odom. You got to, uh, no, Lamar Odom is a buy now at this point. So nah, you wouldn't want to do that. 
no, nah, that's not going to work out. You just have to snipe him by his name, Paul George, because obviously this player would pop up. Unless you have Lamar Odom ready, then you would be able to filter him out by doing enabled. But in this case, it's not going to work out, man. You're just going to want to snipe him by his name, Diamond, and then color Paul George. I mean, not color. <laughs> name Paul George, obviously, right? And then if he happens to stay above 100 KMT, then you would just put the minimum buyout to 500. And if he happens to drop below 100 KMT, then you would snipe him on the same filter with the, the the one that I just gave you before this one with Alonzo Mourning. Unless you wanted to snipe Paul George and he's under 100K, like if you wanted to snipe him alone, then you'd have to set up a different filter for that. But yeah, so let's get on into the Amethyst. So if you wanted to snipe the new Amethyst that were available or that are available, all you'd have to do is go Amethyst and then for your theme, it's the same thing. Just go Idol Series 1 VIP and then that gives you Porzingis and Louis Scola. And I love how they keep reusing the same card pictures in the 2k21 like come on bro come on 2k you gotta step it up man like you're selling right now bro like you make a new game so you can't even put new pictures on the cards wasn't that the same picture on the i don't even remember what card it was on porzingis last year but anyway so we're finding the cheapest amethyst because that's how you set it up so let's see man these, these things are going for cheap i mean not not really that cheap but oh yeah now this man is cheap right here yeah 3000 mt uh, that might be glitched all right, seems to be Louis Scola is going for, I don't know, it's hard to tell because a lot of them are glitched. Maybe around 7,500. I don't want to even, like, try to buy that to see if it's glitched or not, but those seem to be reasonable. The ones that are, like, 7,500. The ones that are, like, 3,000 are clearly glitched. But I think the ones that are above that, like, 7,500 and above, I think those are the real ones. So I guess I'm going to take a guess and see that that's or and say that that's what his price is and if that is the case then obviously you would want to lower your max buyout below that we're gonna put the max buyout to i don't know let me see 5500 if i bought it for 55 sold it for 75 they're gonna take off 750 so you'll still make profit you can even put this up to 6000 if you wanted to yeah um and then obviously amethyst idols series vip and then all these ones right here are glitched the only thing is about this, like, you'd want to use this typically later on because you're going to see that these, while everyone's ripping packs, these are just going to go up and there's going to be a lot of glitched ones. So if you wanted to avoid the glitched ones for the time being until, like, later on, obviously you could just lower the max bio to be cheaper than all of these glitched ones. But these should go away after a certain amount of time. And when it's, like, later on tonight, I don't think there's going to be that many glitched ones. There might be one or two, but it's not going to be like this where you have to scroll past so many. And then the last filter would be just a regular Ruby filter because people are going to be ripping packs, throwing up that Patrick, um, what's that dude's name? Patrick uh, Mills? Yeah, there we go. I almost forgot his name for a second, but obviously just regular Ruby filter, no theme. Find the cheapest Ruby. Let's find out what that is. And now there's probably going to be a lot of Patrick Mills being glitched right now because like I said, people just love to open packs and just throw them up. So like this one is probably glitched 950. Yeah. A lot of these are going to be glitched right now. But what you, what you could do is you could just put your max buyout to lower than the glitched ones. And you'll probably be able to get a decent amount of snipes even by doing that. So for the time being, while the packs are like fresh, fresh, maybe put your max buyout to 9 or 850. See if you can get some Patrick Mills like this and get lucky. Or, or you can get any other Ruby. Now, once, once things start to settle out, then obviously you'd want to bump your max buyout up a little bit and uh to put it where a price where you're still gonna make profit but for now i would just do it like this so you don't have to deal with those glitch cards because that stuff is annoying man so it's very annoying but yeah those are the snipe filters guys wow i, I missed that bro i think i might have been delayed i don't know but yeah those are the filters and uh let me know what you guys get in the comment section i hope this video was helpful hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to hit the like button make sure to subscribe we're on a 40 on the road to 40k we're gonna be giving more snipe filters more tips and tricks videos for you guys throughout the whole year so if you're not already subscribed you want to see all that make sure to hit that subscribe button man and yeah with that said I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out